Autodesk Fusion 360 does not have a bend command for bending solid bodies, but sometimes it would be very nice to be able to bend a solid body such as this bracket. With the help of a few sheet metal tools, we can do a nice job. Let's get started. This is the same bracket before bending. To get started, we're going to do a sketch on the back side. You could do it on either side, but in this case, it's going to be better on the back. So I right click and do a sketch. I then want to use my project command and project geometry, the whole outline into this sketch, making sure it's projected link. Finish my sketch and go back to the home position. Next thing I want to do is go to sheet metal and pick up on flange. I want to pick on that sheet metal I just did and notice it's going away from the part. I don't want to add to the thickness so I want to switch, switch sides to side 2 to go up into the part. It is 16 gauge but whatever your sheet metal is set to is fine. Next thing we need to do is make another sketch on the sheet metal surface. So I pick on the back side where the sheet metal is and I create a sketch. I'm going to draw a couple lines that will be my bend lines. I want to be sure they're parallel and horizontal. They don't have to be if you want to bend at an angle, but I want to do a straight one. They're not straight, so I'll put a constraint on each one. Next thing I'll do is dimension between them. It's going to be 12 inches between them, and I'm going to be 6 inches off the center. So I'll just pick up that dimension and divide by 2. So I have fully constrained bend lines. Next step is to go back into a isometric view. Now at this point we can turn off the solid body and just deal with the sheet metal flange. Next thing I want to do is bend it. So I'm going to go up to my sheet metal command and pick bend. I'm going to bend it down, so I'm going to pick on the bottom surface as a stationary. Then I'm going to pick this line, and this line is my bend lines. Now since I'm using 16 gauge, the bend is awful small, so I'm going to make it 1.5 as an override to give me a nice curve. You can change that to anything you like. My sketch is still showing, so I'm going to get rid of that. The next thing I need to do is turn my body, my solid body, back on. Then I'll go up under Sheet Metal, Modify, and pick Unfold. I want to unfold the sheet metal. So I pick on that surface as stationary and these two bends to put it in place. You could do it automatically if you want with the checkbox. Say OK. Now we need to merge this piece of sheet metal into the solid body using a solid combined command. The combine command is on a modify if you're looking for it. The target body will be the sheet metal body, so be sure you can pick it from the browser. Make sure that's number one. The tool body will be the solid body. You want to do a join. Say OK. The next step is go back to sheet metal and do a refold. As you can see, we get our bends. So everything is done just like the other model was. Look how quick that was for a bend feature. One of the nice things about this method is that the sheet metal feature is completely embedded into the model. So you don't have to do hiding of faces. You also can go back to your timeline and change your radius, your bends, just by editing the bend feature and change that to anything you like. Here's one inch. You can also go back to the sketch before the bends and change the location. So if I change this from 12 to 13, update and the bends move out. Very nice feature. If you are going the wrong way with a bend, you can change that very easily too. Go back to your bend, edit it, and in the chart, pick flip. To flip one or both of them going the other way and it will flip up. 
when you're doing a round feature or a round body, the process is basically the same except the location of the sheet metal flange. So we'll start out by doing a new sketch on the plane going along the length of it. I'm going to slice my view so I can see up inside very easily and draw me a line snap to the center on that end to the center on this end. It's fully constrained. Finish your sketch and go to sheet metal and you want to make another flange. You're going to pick on that line. You would like it to be symmetrically centered as well as symmetrically across. Now the width of it is critical. You must go enough to touch the interior surface. That's just fine. Say OK. The process now is pretty much the same. I'm going to turn the body off to make it easier to see my piece, piece of sheet metal. I'm going to do a sketch on this. Create a sketch. I'm going to draw a line across it. It's going to be slightly off center. I have to take into account the bend radius. I'm going to measure off this end seven and three quarters inches. I'll then finish my sketch. Next thing I'm going to do is do my bend. So I'll pick this as my stationary side and that'll be the bend side there. I again need to override the bend radius because I'm using 16 gauge sheet metal. I'm going to make it 1.5. Say OK. Turn my body back on. Next thing I want to do is go to modify, unfold, pick the sheet metal, stationary side and the bend side and drop it down. I need to turn that sketch off. I'm finished with it. Next thing I want to do, just like the other one, go to solid and pick combine. Again, combine is down in the modify menu. Pick on the sheet metal body first and the solid body second and join them. The next step is to go to sheet metal and refold. Unlike the previous model where we had the sheet metal flange marry into the part, it is still visible in this part. We must delete the faces. So we want to pick under modify, delete. And I suggest you turn on face priority using the drop down menu. It makes it easier. So you want to pick on all the faces that are not joined. That front edge is joined, so don't pick on it. I want to pick on that one, that one. I can see one down here, right there. Turn it around, get the other end. Pick on this one and this one and one more. You have to look through it, look through the elbow, hold down your mouse and pick the first face, which is the curve part. Say OK. And now your sheet metal bend is complete and the sheet metal flange is no longer visible. I hope this improves your work with a workaround bend command in Autodesk Fusion 360.